Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to DIY your own appointment flyer. It could be a nail appointment, hair appointment flyer, whatever you want it to be. But today this one is going to be a nail appointment available flyer. So what I'm going to do, I'm using Canva as you can see. So this is where I make most of my designs and I make create the design and list them on Etsy for anyone to purchase. So if you are interested, you can click the link down below in the description and it will take you there. But I am going to go to Instagram posts because that's where I make the size I make them most of my designs in Instagram posts, depending on what I'm making, like my flyers are mostly in the size of an Instagram post, which is 1080 by 1080. So right here is, this thing is loading up so slow. I'm going to use a silk background. So I'm going to search silk and I'm going to get, I'm looking for a black one. So as you can see, black but to make things a little more easier i'm just going to hit the block and go back to photos and click that same silk background and as you can see it just populated and i don't have to basically stretch it out it does it for me so that's one tip so the next thing i'm going to do here is so um i'm trying to find the other elements button and i'm looking for a frame that i want to use to place <clears throat> place the nail design in so you can choose whatever frame that you want to choose but the specific frame that i'm looking for is more like a rectangular frame and y'all will see in the next step so i'm scrolling here and i'm looking for a frame yes i'm very picky when it comes to my designs but i'm going to pick a rectangular one i'm trying to decide which one i want so i'm gonna go with that one and i'm going to make it to the size that i'm looking for as you can see i'm trying to see where i want to position it so i'm going to position it at the bottom and i think yes yeah, so i'm going to keep it right here whenever i decide the angle so yes i think that right there is good enough so i'm going here and i'm going to find my nail design and my uploads as you can see i have a list of them right there so i'm going to decide and see which nail design i want to upload and where i get my nail designs from is pinterest and you go to pinterest and type in nail designs or whatever and it will pull up a list of pictures that you can use from pinterest so that's how i get most of my photos from to use on my designs so this one, mm, I don't know, because it's blending in too much with the silk background. So I think I'm going to change it. The nails are beautiful though. So I'm going to change it because it's blending in too much with the background. So which one do I want? Choose that one. I think this one right here is perfect. <clears throat> and I love it. So I'm done with the pictures and next thing I'm going to go to is my text and I'm going to add a appointment. So I'm going to type that out. So as you can see, it want to keep adding words and stuff. So I'm going uh, to make it smaller. I'm going to go to my font 
and I'm going to choose the font that I want for it which is going to be Anton because that's the font that I just love to use y'all I use that font um most of my designs Anton <clears throat> so as you can see there Anton I mean appointments <laughs> my bad y'all but it's appointments and just make it the size that you want <clears throat> and after that i'm going to add another text and well before that i'm going to choose the color that i want and i'm using my color picker to get that same color pink so if you don't like it you can change it up a little bit but try to make it close as possible to that pink so everything can match so i'm going to add another text and this text will be for appointment i mean available because i already have appointment so it will say appointments available so i'm going to put available and i'm going to change it <coughs> to the color white and make it bigger so if you change it to the color white it'll make it pop some so that's what i'm going to do here so as you can see, it made it stand out a little bit. I want to make it the same color pink. So right here, you make it, I mean, you type in book now. Lord, why this thing keep doing this? Uh, that's why I don't like working on this tablet. But so you just type in book now. And again, I'm going to change the font. On this one also and I'm gonna use the same font as I used earlier which was the Anton font so you just position it where you want to position it and go and pick that font make it bigger so yeah and soon as I get finished positioning it where I want to position it so I think that right there will do. So, and I'm going to go to my elements and go to my shapes. And the shape I will be using is the square. And I'm going to make it smaller and get it to the size that I want it. Soon as I get finished sizing it up. And so I'm just sizing it up right here and I'm going to change it to the color pink and to make things a little faster, I'm going to duplicate it. So once I duplicate it, I'm going to size it up to the first one that I got so they can all be So they all can be, what I'm trying to say, lined up together. So yeah, so I got them all three lined up. And as you can see, I'm making it very beginner friendly. So I hope this is not too hard for anyone or anything like that. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to take this one to the bottom. And... For that, this was where I'll, you will put your website at, which I will show you later. So that's why I have that one down there. And the next thing I'm going to do here is go to my text. And no, 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 I'm not going to the text. I'm going to, I'm not I'm going to add my icons. So I'm going to add the icons. So this one right here is a phone icon. And I'm going, as soon as I can get it right, y'all. And I'm going to change that color to black. So my icons will be the color black. So I'm going to do a phone icon, a Instagram icon, and a Facebook icon. So you just repeat the steps and find 
the icons that you want. So the next icon would be an uh, Instagram icon. Make it smaller. Uh, might have to zoom in some so I can get it right. So I can get it lined up. Zoom back out. So I'm finished with the Instagram icon. And the next icon we will work on is the Facebook icon. And it should pop up black because since I already chose black for the other icons. So that's another helpful thing. You don't have to keep going back and picking the colors. It will change for you. So that's the Facebook icon. I have to zoom back in. Line it up. And there you go. And I'm going to go and add the phone number and put at social medias so you just come up with a fake number or this is a do a do it yourself uh appointment well you can put your you can put your number in or a fake number depending on if you want to redesign this for your Etsy shop or you actually looking to make the flyer for your actual business so if that's what you're doing just put your number in whatever number you want to use your business number or whatever number you want to use and so i'm just sizing it up right here so let me get it right so i'm going to duplicate it so i can make everything the same size and i'm going to put at social media so you'll put at your Instagram name or business name. So that's what I'm going to. And I, I keep all of the, I keep everything like the same fonts that I'm using in those boxes. So just make sure you don't have like 10 different fonts on your flyer because it's not going to look right. So I'm going to duplicate that and put it by my Facebook. So you will put your Facebook name right there but for the sake of the video i'm not putting any of my information right there i'm just showing y'all what y'all can add right there so i added, added those two so now i'm going to go and add my other text all the way to the bottom no actually and no, i'm gonna skip that part i'm gonna add some hearts but you don't have to add any hearts if you don't want to I just don't want it want it looking too plain but you don't you can skip this step if you want to <clears throat> so I added my hearts and I changed it to the color white which I think look okay but you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I think it it looks okay so I'm duplicating the letters again and right here I'm gonna just put www.website.com which you would put your name or your website right there so that's what you do right there y'all and I promise you this is my therapy because I really love and enjoy creating these designs for my Etsy shop and soon I will have my own website available where y'all can purchase your pre-made designs so you can stretch it out, make it smaller, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it smaller. And that would be that. So that's the end of this flyer. So, and I hope that I made it simple and easy for y'all to follow along. And please subscribe to this video. If you want to see more videos in the future, please like and comment down below and i hope each and every one of you enjoyed this video and i will see y'all again